Hello, uh, let us look at some uh, questions regarding uh, imaginary numbers. So first, find all z, in this case z implies the uh, real number and also uh, Im imaginary number, we call them complex numbers. Uh, first, our first step would have been subtracting 12 from both sides. Then we end up getting 4z squared is equal to negative 12. Now when we divide by 4, we can see that z squared must be equal to negative 3. Now, on this, in this case, let me try to sidetrack a little bit. If I have x squared is equal to 4, what would have been the value of x? We know that to be naturally uh, positive or negative 2, isn't it? Likewise, in this case, uh, when, you take, uh, when you get rid of the uh, square to get the square root, then we end up getting plus or minus square root of negative 3. Now, but wait one second here. Uh, radical negative 3 can be expressed as square root of negative 1 times square root of 3. And we know that the square root of negative 1 as, uh, is defined as i, so we can say that our final answer is plus or minus i radical 3. All right, let's look at the second question. a is 3 plus 4i, b is 12 minus 5i, and then they're asking for each of the following. First one, all we have to just all we have to do is simply plug in 3 plus 4i minus 12 minus 5i. Then we can easily see that this becomes 3 plus 4i minus 12 plus 5i. Because negative sign distributes. Then 3 minus 12 becomes negative 9. 4i plus 5i becomes positive 9. So that becomes our final answer. How about b? b is we just have to multiply them. So here we get 3 plus 4i and 12 minus 5i. And what do we end up getting? 3 times 12, which we get 36. 3 times negative 5i becomes negative 15i. And 4i times 12 becomes positive 48i. And 4i times negative 5i becomes negative 20i squared. And we can easily see that the middle two terms were uh, combined together. But what is i squared? Yes, that's right. i squared is equal to negative 1. So negative negative makes this one into positive here. So we end up getting 36 plus 20, which is 56. And in this case, minus 15i plus 48i becomes plus 33i. And that becomes our final answer. How about number C? Let me write down C over here. In place of A, I'm going to put 3 plus 4i. So we get 3 plus 4i square that plus 3 times 3 plus 4i plus 2. Then here we get, well, oh, since this is a perfect square, then we get 9, first one squared plus same sign, two times of these two, which is 24i. And then the last one is plus 16i squared. Plus here, 9 plus 12i and plus 2. Now, I want you to notice one thing that here, when we have i squared, that's equal to ne uh, negative 1. Then what we end up getting is 9 minus 16 becomes negative 7, plus 9 becomes positive 2, plus 2 is what? Positive 4. Now, 24i uh, and then 12i, so we end up getting plus 36i. So that becomes our uh, final answer for number C. How about number D? So the bar on top is called conjugate, so in fact, what we end up getting is this D, let me try to use a different color. D here is that A, which is 3 plus 4i, over conjugate of B. B is 12. So we get 12 plus 5i. Now, plus conjugate of A, that means 3 minus 4i over 12 minus 5i. Or, uh, original value of uh, b would have been that one. So uh, what are we going to do? Yes, we have to multiply top and bottom by uh, conjugate. 
So here we get 12 minus 5i is being multiplied top and bottom. Here we will multiply by 12 plus 5i. 12 plus 5i. Let's see what we end up getting. For the first one, we get 12 times 3 becomes 36. And 12 times 4i becomes plus 48i. And we get negative 15i. And we end up getting minus 20i squared. Now, but how about the bottom? We get 144. minus 25 i squared and you know that what the denominator becomes but in fact you will realize that the other side has the same denominator so we get 144 minus 25 i squared because that's the difference of square now how about the top 3 times uh, 12 becomes 36 same way as before but 3 times 5i becomes plus uh, 15i and then uh, negative y times 12 becomes minus 48i, and then we get negative uh, 20i squared. Now, since the denominator is essentially the same, we can see that negative 48 and positive 48i is not canceling out, and 15i and negative 15i will cancel out as well. Then what do we have? On top, we have 36 plus 36, or 36 plus uh, negative i squared becomes negative, so we end up getting 56 plus 56, which is 112. Divide by, this one once again becomes negative 1, becomes 144 plus 25, which is 169. So in fact, uh, the, uh, this is a fraction that which we end up getting. Now, uh, then let us move on continually. Number uh, three. Uh, we just have to get the conjugate of each, a conjugate of each, one, uh, each one of them, and then we just have to add them up. And here we get minus 2i. And here plus 7 plus 2i. Because we just have to change the sign in the middle. And these two cancels out. Our final answer becomes 7. How about on the second one? We get 1 over 2 minus 3i plus 1 minus 2i. Then here we get 1 over 3 minus 5i. And that's not bad. We just have to multiply, multiply top and bottom by its conjugate. Then we get multiplying top and bottom by 3 plus 5i. So we get top is 3 plus 5i. On the bottom, we get uh, square of the first one, which is 9 minus square of the second one, which is 25i squared. And as we know by now, that i squared becomes negative 1, which makes this one into positive. So denominator is 34, and numerator stays as 3 plus 5i. Number 4. Uh, so here we have i squared. i is uh, being placed in all of them. So then first one becomes i to the sixth power plus i to the fourth power over i plus 1. But what is i to the sixth? Because i squared is equal to negative 1 that we know, then raise this one to the third power, it will still get, get us negative 1. On the other hand, uh, when you uh, i to the fourth power is the square of each one, then we get plus 1. And over, denominator becomes i plus 1. Now, then, since the numerator becomes 0, uh, we don't really care what denominator becomes as long as it's not equal to 0, then our answer is equal to 0. Now let's plug in negative 1. Then what would have happened? So here we get negative, I mean negative i to the 6th power uh, plus negative i to the 4th uh, power all over i plus 1, or negative i plus 1. In fact, did you realize that negative i to the 6th power is exactly the same thing as i to the 6th power? Because of the even exponent, uh, it makes this, one into, uh, this sign turn into positive. So we end up getting negative 1, same way as before. 
How about the second uh, term as well? To the fourth power, this negative sign uh, becomes a positive, so we end up getting uh, plus 1 over negative i plus 1, and once again, cancels out to be equal to 0. How about c? Let's plug in i minus 1. Then here, i minus 1 to the 6th power plus i minus 1 to the 4th power all over i minus 1 plus 1. Then we know that denominator is equal to i, which, uh, these ones cancels out. Not only that, we see that 4th four, four power is common in both cases. So if I have to factor that out, then we get i minus 1 to the 4th power. Uh, and then leaving i minus 1 square on the left side, and then on the right side we have plus 1. All over, simply i. Then what do we end up getting? On the right side, I'm just going to write that i minus 1 to the 4th power as it is. Uh, but what is i minus 1 square? Uh, let me just try to do it on the side somewhere. Because i minus 1 to the 4th power is just square of that anyway. So here we get i minus 1 square simply becomes i square minus 2 times of those, which is 2i, and then square of that plus uh, 1. But i square is negative 1, so negative 1 cancels out with the positive 1, so giving us 2i is the uh, i minus 1 squared. Then what is i minus 1? the fourth power. That means we have to square this one, which becomes uh, negative 2i to the second power. So here we get no, a numerical value becomes simply 4, but we get i squared, hence becomes negative 4. So then, what we can do is, instead of writing this one down, let's just put down those values. So what, uh, i minus 1 to the fourth power becomes negative 4, and here it becomes negative 2i plus 1 all over i. Then here we get, if I to uh, continue to uh, multiply things out, then we get 8i. And the second one becomes uh, minus 4 over i. Then if I were to multiply top and bottom by i, Then we end up getting 8i squared minus 4i over i squared. And we know that i squared is equal to negative 1. So here we get equal to negative 8 minus 4i over negative 1, which becomes 8 plus 4i. All right, so we'll stop here uh, for the fourth question. Let's go for the last question. What is this expression? So we know that negative 1 as an exponent simply implies the reciprocal. So our first layer would have been this. Uh, uh, I minus i to the negative 1 power, entire thing to the uh, 1 over that. Now, but if I were to calculate, uh, if I were to you know, consider negative 1 uh, of the exponent of i here, then we get 1 over i minus 1 over i. Of course, to, uh, to rationalize the denominator of this first fraction on the bottom on the right corner, I have to multiply top and bottom by i. Then we get 1 over i minus i over i squared. And we know that i squared is negative, so negative negative becomes positive, which gives us 1 over 2i. Then what do I multiply top and bottom? Simply i once again. Then we get i over 2i squared, which gives us negative number, so we get negative i over 2 becomes our final answer. All right, uh, with this one, uh, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.